Hi everyone, it's Fanola Howard and I'm back after a couple of weeks because yes, the family did actually finally succumb to COVID. Sean first, <laughs> then me and then Kevin. But we're all kind of doing a bit better now. So I needed to take a pause to take a rest because that's really important too, that you look after yourself. Hi, <laughs> you look after yourself when you're not well because you can't bring your best self to the table. So. I may not be 100% my best self coming to the table today, but I am better than I was last week. <laughs> Lovely to see you, Sandra. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get stuck in. I got this wonderful question. So this is Ask Finola How episode, what is it, 35. Got a great question in recently, and I think this could really help a lot of people. So bear with me as I walk through this with you. So the question was this. I posted about a free workshop I'm doing, but I'm not getting the same signups as I did last time. Not sure what I need to do differently. Can you help? This is such a common question when it comes to actually running campaigns, you know, getting, putting yourself out there, getting something to work for yourself, getting your marketing in place. So while we spent a lot of time in Ask Finola talking about purpose and mission and vision and really getting brand correct and all the rest of it, there comes a point where you actually have to get out into the marketplace and sell your course, sell your webinar, get registrations for a free webinar to actually get them through a process to entice people to buy from you, okay? And you do these free kind of workshops to help people get to know you better, get to know, like, and trust you so that they can actually make an informed decision about whether what you've got for them to help them solve their pain can actually help them. So let's kind of walk around that one for a start. So in this case, this entrepreneur is running a workshop and she's run it before and what she's noticed and she actually um, posted it in one particular social media channel and it's not getting the same take up as it did at this stage, the last time that she ran it. But this is not unusual, okay? Not unusual at all. So there's a few things that I'll ask before I get stuck in on anything. And so some of the questions I'd be asking around, so here's my questions first, or the considerations I would make when I'm looking at a situation like this. First is, I'd say to myself, well, something might have changed with my audience. So if I've limited myself to, you know, I want to get a small workshop going, and these are the words of that, that entrepreneur, wanted to keep it small. So going to the same audience that has that worked really well the last time nothing absolutely nothing wrong with going to the same audience except you've got to check that the audience is big enough and that this is still relevant for that audience so the first thing that i would notice for myself and bring attention to is has anything changed with the audience and i really i specifically ask this question now in this pandemic that we're actually still all in believe it or not so while we've all returned to stuff and things have come back to normal and we're actually physically meeting each other, that might mean that the last time that you ran this workshop, things were different. So life was different. And perhaps that that workshop no longer applies or that the format that this workshop is presented in is to a different state of mind. So your audience fundamentally changes when their state of mind changes. So we have to look first is, what was the scenario like the last time that you ran it? Was it in March 2020, even March 2021? Because it would still be different to March, April 2022. So what has changed in that audience since the last time that you ran it? OK, that's the first thing. Just to take note of the environment that you're in. And we always need to take note of the environment we're in. And even things like taking note of the time of year, you know, so there may be a time that if you run the workshop, and it's too close to summer holidays, it may not work because of that. The timing of your workshop may not be working because you're coming up to Easter. So look at the environment because something has changed with your audience, okay? So I also ask this question it was, I would also ask this question of, does this topic still speak to that audience? So <clears throat> how can you find that out? Well, I'd be speaking to some customers or people who I think might be, might, who I might have thought would be candidates for this workshop and see if this resonates. I kind of stress test it against, I would test the idea for this topic to see if it resonates because things can sound really, really good in our own heads and not actually work when it gets to the market, okay? Because ultimately the market will decide. So 
Ask your audience, is this topic still speak to them? And reach out to customers to see what else you can learn about that, okay? The next thing is, I'd ask myself, have I exhausted that audience? Am I kind of dipping into the same pool all the time? And there comes a point that if you keep dipping into the same pool, then you've exhausted that pool because everybody knows what you have to teach them. So that is a fundamental question is, if you dip into the same small pool and you're not reinvigorating or expanding that pool, then there will come a point where you exhaust that pool. So that's a question, okay? So the other question is that you, that pool may be big enough, but is it warm enough? Okay, so we may be present in, in networks and stuff, but there may actually only be a small part of a community that knows, likes and trust us, trusts us. So we have to make sure that as part of our process, as part of our, part of our marketing funnel, that we're continually warming an audience before we ask for something from that audience. So that's your whole brand awareness, awareness of you in the marketplace, really getting to know them so that they are ready to work with you. You have to make sure that they are ready. So the audience may be big enough. Is the audience big enough? And if the audience is big enough, is the audience warm enough? That's your question, okay? Then after that, I'd be saying, okay, so you've chosen to go into one social media channel. Why are you confining it to one social media channel? Why are you not sharing this in other channels or in your newsletter list, in your newsletter subscribers, in other networks that you're in? Why are you not expanding here? Don't stay small. Move to, move to grow and don't think small about it. Move to grow. Move in these places. You may be surprised and delighted by the opportunity that arises as a result. Okay, so another one for you. If the topic is right and needed, right? Here's my comments for you. I would double my efforts, but I'd also coordinate my efforts. I'd want to make sure that I am reaching out at appropriate times in each channel with the right message. So it's not enough just to say, I have a free workshop. You have to engage with that target customer for that workshop and understand their perspective. So. How do you understand their pain point? Are you reaching out to them with a message that this will help in, in solving that pain point? Now, likely your intention is not to completely solve that pain point because if it's a free workshop, you want to convert them to something else. So at least give enough that it has value in and of itself. Think of these free workshops and things that you do that are in exchange for something value, which, valuable, which is their email address and then it allows you to have permission to do more with that person or not. But make sure that you are reaching them with a message that addresses their pain point and also in all your social media messaging to actually promote this program when you're doubling up your efforts, you're actually showing them what transformation looks like. Because it's no good just saying, I have a workshop. It's like, I have this workshop that is gonna help you with this challenge that you're facing right now. And I know and I understand that this is a very challenging time for you or this is something that you feel stuck in, but I have a way to help you through this. And when you move through this, when you use my three core steps, then you will find that life is blah, 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 blah. Like show them what transformation looks like because that makes it enticing to work with you. And we want to make it enticing to work with you because obviously it is enticing to work with you. So, and also, like that's really key. And in the Get Strategic program, there's a whole section on actually how to write that language to make sure that you actually reach them, reach through their pain and bring them to transformation. It's a really important part of this process. Also, do a live video. Do, it's not enough just to post. Do a live invitation to say, you know, I'd love you to join me because people, we love each other. We love people. People love people because we can connect with each other. And if I can connect with you and I can see the truth in your eyes that you truly do want to help me, then there is a chance that I will sign up for your program. Okay, so do a live invitation. And, when I, and what I know about this entrepreneur, this entrepreneur is amazing on video and you would want to sign up for their workshop. So please do that. The other thing I'll leave you with is this idea of a marketing funnel. 
And we've kind of tipped on it a bit in a few previous Ask Finola How episodes. 21, I think I referenced it before. And it's also a really strong part of the Get Strategic Workshop, Get Strategic uh, Programme. So it is this idea of think through the process that you want to take someone through when you're building out a campaign to promote something. Think about it. It's not just one post converts. It is a whole relationship that you've been building over time. And you start by doing things like run through these five things in your head, right? Um, am I where my customer is? That's be there. So be there. Am I where my customer is? Be seen. Am I seen where my customer is? When I'm in all of these networks and in these channels using these hashtags, am I seen in these networks? Then am I considered? Am I putting myself in a position where I can be considered by that person? And that consideration thing can be can be that workshop, that can be that invitation for them to sign up and that part of this funnel that we're building. But we must acknowledge that we cannot start blank with someone and expect them to convert overnight. We have to walk, we have to build a relationship with them and each relationship has a stage. And I always give this example, in fact, I gave it yesterday on the 12 week challenge, which was, do you actually if you're going on a blind date, do you expect to get married at the end of the night? And of course you won't. So think through the process. Make sure that you pace yourself through this process and that you have something in place to show that you are there where they are, to show yourself to be seen, to give them a chance to do a test run with you, to actually then make it easy for them to buy from you and then to be championed by you. Feel through that, make sure it's a process that flows in your business and it will make all the difference to all of your campaigns. But do play around with some of those questions I re I've shared with you today. And best of luck with your workshop, any of your workshops. So this has been Fanola Howard, Ask Fanola How, episode 35. And the question that we answered today was, I posted about a free workshop I'm doing, but I'm not getting the same signups as I did last time. Not sure what I need to do differently. Here's some ideas for you. Let me know how you get on. Take care and have a wonderful day.